Military Makeover is presented in part by Rev Coffee and Keurig. So today I'm on my way down to Miami to surprise the next recipient for Military Makeover. DJ Schaefer uh, was a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps, uh, served in Afghanistan back in 2011, and like so many others, uh, suffers from PTSD. He has no idea that we're on our way down here to surprise him. Uh, right now, him and his wife uh, are down in a park with an organization called Heroes on the Water. And what they do is they bring all these guys together and they take them out kayaking, uh, some Sometimes I may be fishing. He has no idea that we're surprising him with this. Annie knows, his mom knows, a lot of uh, the people around him today, they already know, but he has no idea. Good, Good to, to see, see you. Again. How are you? Good. Hi, I'm Ryan. Yeah, I'm Ryan as well. All right, pretty cool. <laughs> Ryan and Ryan. What's up, guys? Hey. Oh, it's hot out. Yeah. It is. Did you see the water? It was glorious. Yeah. yeah. Aww, he's such a good son. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming they're right around the corner. As soon as she stands up, I can kind of tell that they're over there. So, I'm glad you came out because um, we got some folks out here that I really want you to meet. DJ, Here's how are you? <laughs> what the heck? Hey, DJ. My name on. is Ryan, and I'm here to let you know that <laughs> you're the next military makeover, my friend. I'll be there. I knew the whole time. I had to keep it a secret from you. <laughs> she did. Annie and I, Annie and I have yeah. actually already met. Yeah. So That was the hardest secret that I have ever had to keep, was that. <laughs> I wanted to spill the beans a bunch of times, but I did not. I just told everybody else I knew. <laughs> oh, hey, this is awesome. All right. <laughs> you know, it takes a real elite group working with me to accomplish our makeovers. And yes, it also takes Art. Art Edmund, a walking, talking, talking, talking machine, my friend Art. Notice I didn't include the words hard working anywhere in that description, right? I had to get a new uh, Facebook profile picture. Eddie, come on Art, that's attention. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Was it take 20? Oh, I thought that that- How many I'm trying, okay? You'd never make it, Marie. I am trying. I always say to myself, you know, Gunny's got his thing, you know, we've got our designer, our contractor, two big personalities, Ryan and Jen. I've been told I'm the glue. That's what I've been told. Or maybe it was the goo, I'm not sure. So Art Edmonds is very good on TV, has a face for TV, but what drives me nuts is we're doing construction and I've never seen a single dirty fingernail on that man's hand. Speaking of getting it done, two screws, buddy. You're the DIY guy. Two screws, man. Where are you going? Get on it, brother. Oh, man. I want to continue challenging everybody that gets involved, our partners that get involved, because these families and these military veterans put everything on the line. And when I'm here doing these, if I don't push the envelope, then I'm not doing them service. And for me, it's just a challenge to get myself and everybody in our team to push that envelope and give everything we got like they did for us. Ryan is the full package. He is uber talented, and at the same time, he has the most heart, and I know he will do everything he can to help me get it done. My design style is this. When I design for other people, it's not about me. I do the psychology of design. I figure out what makes your heart and your head happy, and I help you pull it off in your home. Ultimately, I know the one thing I can offer is giving these veterans like a home that will help them have a new beginning. White. White. I come through the damn door. What do I see, Jen? I see white. All everything is white. What are you gonna do about that? Is it white a color? <laughs> white. I know. White is a non-color. I know. It, it is the absence of color, but I'm gonna add the soul. It's gonna be amazing. I promise. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Working with the gunny is absolutely amazing because think about it. He's a film icon. And I know he really believes in doing this for the veterans, and I know he probably hates my design style. White doesn't work. We got to do something about that, okay? Yes. Jennifer comes in, and by the time she gets finished, it looks like home. Not just a house, but a home. I can't call this a job. <laughs> it's a habit that I have. But it's a fun habit, and, and it's, uh, it helps my veterans. And anything that helps the veterans, I'm game for. That's the way it is. It's beautiful.
mission to show drip coffee drinkers it's time to wake up to Keurig. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine! How are you? Well, watch this. I pop that in there, press brew, that's it. Look how much coffee's in here. Fresh coffee. So rich. I love it. That's why you should be a Keurig man! Full-bodied. Are you sure you're describing the coffee and not me? Do you wear this every day? Every I'd day? I'd never take it off. Are you ready to say goodbye to it? Go. Guys, go! <laughs> oh. Ta-da! A terrarium. That's it! We've proved the love, right, guys? Yeah! All right, looking at my map here, we're almost at Rob's Family Barbecue, so I'm looking forward to meeting DJ and Annie and uh, finding out all about their story. Well, it's great to have you be a part of our military makeover. We really want to just get to know you and, and really find out, you know, your story. What made you uh, the young guy that wanted to enlist in the Marine Corps? Both my parents were uh, Air Force. I was actually born on an Air Force base in Arkansas. and. Uh, about four, we went to Ohio. I grew up in a little one-stop light town, kind of okay. one of those everybody knows everybody. At what age did you enlist in the Marine Corps? Uh, 21. My father had passed away. We were very, very close. And so when he passed, you know, I got a little lost, didn't know, uh, didn't have any direction with myself. So, and had all this pent-up crazy going on, and there was a war going, and Marines it was. To serve your country and, and That's correct. you know, give a helping hand, right? That's correct. It makes you love this country for what it is, you know. I was very proud of what we did. You know, I didn't know that that's what would come out of the whole endeavor. You know, and it turned out I just, I love this country and I love how everybody is so different and can get together and just make this place run like it does. Let's talk about first where they sent you. You went to Afghanistan. Yes, sir. Yeah, I went to, um, I was actually on a mute first. The uh, Marines, we did this, a Marine Expeditionary Unit. We were in Kuwait. And there was an infantry unit 3-5. They had 40 bilateral amputees halfway through the deployment out in the Sanger Valley. And they were uh, having a rough time. So they called our whole battalion in and we went to the Sanger Valley to help them out. Did you come right home after that? Yeah, we yeah. came home. And, and you had some pretty significant PTSD and, and it's uh, some unseen wounds. Very unseen. You don't, yeah, you never really know what's really going to happen until it happens. Uh, when I first got back, I would freak out every morning looking for my rifle. Right. You know, because the whole time, you don't, that thing never leaves one on a distance. Sure. So, you know, the first thing you wake up, you're running around your barracks room looking for your weapon. Sure. Like, oh, man. And, you know, it, uh, it's tough to talk about. I get, like... I struggled the most, I'd say, with um, the pettiness, the stupid stuff. I like, I would um, of society, you mean? Correct. And, you know, all I would focus on is everything negative people are doing. But then, I didn't realize that for every negative, there's so much more beautiful stuff going on. You know? We're so fortunate. We have family support, so that really helps too. His mom is very involved. My parents are very involved. But I definitely. Um, talk to other spouses, I think that helps. Just to, you know, compare notes on what's going on and just know that you're not alone in it. You gotta find the good in this world because there's so much bad going on, you know, you gotta find the good. You have a little bit of an interesting background in the arts, don't you? I you was like? classically trained in ballet growing up. I did about eight years of ballet and jazz and, and some hip hop too. Once I started, it turns out I was kind of good at it and I liked it, so I just went with it. So tell me about how you guys met. My mom and DJ's mom are really good friends and <laughs> they know each other from church. So while he was deployed, um, his mom asked my mom to pray for him. Maybe a couple weeks before you came home, she came in my room with a picture of you. And I was like, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. She'd never done that before, so it was weird. My parents playing a band. So uh, they were playing at a restaurant and we were just put in the same place at the same time. It wasn't awkward. But then from there, I think we spent every day with each other until you had to go back to North Carolina. Yeah. Within six months of meeting, we were married. So uh, you've had the house for two years. Mm -hmm. What year was it built? 1956. There's probably a lot of stuff that needs to be updated. I do happen to have somebody really, really qualified, Jennifer Bertrand. I'd love to see your house. That sounds and good. And have you meet Jen. That sounds good. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, definitely. let's do it. All right. Nice. Oh, man. Did you hear the door? Uh, I think I know who that is, guys. Hello? Here she is. 
Jennifer. Oh, I like being greeted by dogs. Hello. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Good to see that you. That was nothing personal. <laughs> Good to see you again. Hello. I'm Hi. like your fairy godmother of design. I'm DJ. Jen. This house represents a 1950s house. Okay, so is this your space, DJ? It's kind of both of ours. So if you could wish anything for this space, this room right here, what would you wish for? I need some better lighting, that's for sure. Yeah. No, right? No one in their life chooses to have a home and go, I hope it's really dark and cave-like. Do you have enough friends that sit on all of this? Like, do you guys go, we need a couch that's really large? We help friends move, and I got this for free. they didn't want this. So you got it for free? They well, gave it to us. Perfect. <laughs> How about this kitchen, which is a, another round of firsts for me. The kitchen's really important to me because I spend a lot of time in there. The do's would be I'd love a bigger oven, maybe a bigger fridge, it's a little small. It's like a time capsule, and um, I'm not sure that's the look you really want to go for. Not really. Basically, she told me she doesn't want to lose the island. She would not like a little mini gnome fridge. She'd like it to feel light and airy. If you could wish for any color in here, what color cabinets and anything? I like the more clean look. Um, I, I'm loving like the light gray cabinets right now. I don't know why. Oh, interesting. Or whites. Now, one thing I do look down, and there's like, hi, I'm Parquet Vinyl. I hate this floor. Our goal is to take it from the 1950s to this year. What's the deal with this dining room table? Well, she wanted it, so I built it. <laughs> now, see, that's a smart guy. You did a great job. And is everything good about it? Like, it functions, it's sturdy? OK, so I want to see your bedroom. Okay. Take me, which that sounds creepy, doesn't it? <laughs> but I want to see what we have to face in here. Oh, there's something in here. Well, no. I, you know what? Like Obviously, it. when I see it, it's like a blank canvas. Okay, so what is this space in here? We just made it a, a big glorified closet. Ultimately, the flooring needs love. The walls need paint. There's a room that just says, hi, I'm a closet of leftover stuff. Are you worried now that you've met me about anything I might do to your house? Not I yet. I see it in your <laughs> eyes, DJ. Oh. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things I have never seen in a home before. Um, I'm excited. I know we're going to pull it off, but there is a lot to do. You often hear me say Semper Fi. It's the motto of the United States Marine Corps. Semper Fidelis, pretty catchy, huh? Means always faithful, hoorah! That means family, country, and core. And with DJ Schaefer, it's all about family. They're the anchor that keeps him on track. And it is our honor to be here to support that effort. Oh yes, hoorah! A big part of our plan is a complete bathroom makeover from our partner, Rebath. Their designer, Jody Siegel, is back with us again and talking design with Jennifer and Ryan. So I'm thinking they're kind of like rock meets boho chic kind of yeah. thing. So kind of how everyone loves the farmhouse thing, but I want to do it different. Remember I told you when we were in there, I had a really neat idea, okay? My idea was to take this travel team, tell me, do you love this? Because we put that in the shower. Have we put it on the floor at any place? No. Because I can put that on the floor. So do you cut this full size yeah. so there's no grout on the floor? That would That's be awesome. amazing. Isn't that awesome? And to the effect of the light walls, I love this with it. I know it's a favorite. And look, oh look, it's with a white vessel sink <laughs> on a white countertop. Mm, someone's a great designer. <laughs> we had a few few extra little discussions on who would win out, and as you'd imagine, Jennifer won. But she is the designer. I yield to Jennifer always, as does Ryan. Uh, so it's kind of exciting, and we can't wait to see what it looks like. All right, come here. Hey, Gunny, how you been? Have you got this situation in full gear, this makeover, because, you know, this is a big project. Yeah. What's the sit rep? Ah, sit rep. You mentioned that on the last makeover. That's like a status symbol or a status report or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. we're doing a makeover here of this home. Yeah. 
that is the situation, okay? Okay. We're doing the walls, we're doing the ceilings, we're doing the ceiling fans, we're doing the cabinets in the kitchen. You take all those little things right. and you ball them all together and you have one big situation report. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, why don't I go ask Ryan what the situation situation is and I'll get right back to you, okay? You know what you should do? Yeah. You should go ask Ryan because if you stay here, there might be a medical situation happening here and we would have to clean up all of the uh, blood. I, then I, that would be another situation. I got get you. out of here. All right, loud Lose and clear. yourself. Why do I do this job? Hey, Ryan, this guy's yelling at me. You're be crazy. The plan here is to obviously give him a brand new kitchen. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to demo this wall here. There was a little concrete block wall structure. I'm not sure what it was for. Um, they get this weird situation here with this corner where they had a wall oven. And as you can see, that's all completely empty space. It's wasted. You can't put cabinets. You can't put countertop. So I'm going to demo all this as well. We're also going to demo uh, this island here. It's a little bit too big for the space. All new cabinets. Uh, the folks over at Waypoint has provided us with new cabinets. In the end, it's going to be beautiful, and they're going to have more cabinet space, more counter space, more room in the kitchen. It's just going to be much more functional. a little bit behind schedule. As you can see, nothing's really happened here on the outside of the house yet because of the rain. But the good news is we're making progress on the inside of the home. We're actually about a half a day ahead of, of schedule right now. Oh, it's like pumpkin yumminess. What do you think, Dave? I think they're gonna love that color. <laughs> do you have to say that? No, okay, so now you help me get all the paint for each room. I wanna go through at all of our to-do list because once we start having volunteers, it's crazy madness. Um, this is one of those colors that they will love or they will hate. I'm hoping for love. I think it's gonna brighten up the room. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna do something, that's for sure. So for our project here today, we've provided interior and exterior paint, all the primer to really get the surfaces looking good and, and prepped properly, and obviously all the sundries, the brushes, the rollers, the tools, the spackle, the caulking, just to get the home looking perfect. In here, so this is kind of like a manila sadness. That's not what I'm going for. So I want to do white and clean it all up fresh and bright. I think so. There's a lot of lighting that's coming in. I think those colors you picked are going to pop. You're my yes man. I'm taking with you with me everywhere. I think in here it's about lightening and brightening since there are no overhead lights. Yeah, you bet. So over the last couple of days, a lot of work's been happening to the ceiling here. We've yeah. had to go through and hand trowel to remove some of the texture that wouldn't flow. So in just a couple of hours, we're going to start priming and painting the ceiling. It's going to look fantastic. I want to paint all this out and keep the texture. So you brought primer, and I think just because I'm going to make you sweat a little and get a little nervous, let's commit to it. Let's just go ahead. And commit. See, now we can't go back. It's done. Right. There we go. It's going to be Swiss coffee. <laughs> That's how I do all my design jobs. I'm like, just jump in. Don't check the depth. Let's just go. And Dave, we didn't talk about this yesterday, but I'm thinking we keep the wood, but we paint the ceiling blue in between as well. I think that looked great. I know, right? Do we have time for that? We do, and when we have plenty of paint to, to take care of it. I like that you're such a positive person. On the inside, he's like, we do not have time. <laughs> Don't know how I'm gonna do it. We have a special brush for that. Yeah, yeah. It's called Dave's Hand with a paintbrush. Art. Hey, yo, Gunny, what's the sit wrap? Sit wrap? Sit wrap. Sit wrap. Sit wrap, not sit wrap. It's yeah, sit wrap, sit wrap, not sit wrap. Yo, Gunny, yo. Yo, Gunny, yo. It's the sit wrap. Sit wrap, not wrap. Right on time. Right on time. This guy is Pilgrim. Madcap. 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 Oh.
Oh. Gunny, 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 hey, you all right? You, you zoned out on me there for a minute. You're making me crazy. You're a bad influence on me, Art. What did I do? You're a major disaster, a major malfunction. Wait a minute, hold on. Major? So you're saying I got promoted? No, Art, you wouldn't even qualify to be a private, let alone a major. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. You need to go back to work, Art, before I have to hurt you here. All right. My Take God. care of yourself, Gunny. All of you out there, don't miss the next episode of Military Makeover. You see what I have to put up with? This is the Gunny saying, Semper Dallas, hoorah. Major malfunction. Could somebody help me home? <laughs>